Okay, YouTube, I started this video this morning, but things didn't play out that way. I freaking, oh, great. To be honest, I fell asleep. Kind of warm in here. But anyway, um, we're going to do our piston ring gaps. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Right now, I have a piston ring in there. And to check your gap clearance, what you want to do is take your piston ring. This is an old one. And you want to kind of stuff it in there. Uh, I can't do it with one hand. And, you know, so it's kind of like, yeah, well, you can't do it that way. So there's one in there. You can't really see it, though. But you can kind of see it right there. And then after you get it in there, just on the top of the surface, the top area, take your piston. And, okay, piston with no rings. Make sure it doesn't have any rings. Mine's is domed. So uh, mine are domed. Um, but this little lip right here kind of makes it to where it still works. But you take your piston and you stuff it in. Uh, about an inch in there, maybe two, an inch and a half to two inches. Some people go all the way down to the skirt. Uh, you really don't need to, just because it makes it that much harder for you to get your readings with your uh, feeler gauges. So, after that, you take your feeler gauge, and after referring to your manual, my manual says that my piston gaps for my 1.9 liter engine, I'm gonna take a picture of all this documentation so you guys can see it a bit clearer. Uh, the piston gap on the top compression ring is supposed to be between 10 and 20 thousandths. The same goes for the bottom compression ring uh, between 10 and 20 thousandths of an inch. Now the issue is, is that these pistons that I pulled out of the car were at like 30, damn near, maybe 27. They, they were pretty high. I didn't get an exact reading, but they were way over 20. I can guarantee that. Okay, they're the, be the better part of 40, okay? Um, now, these, uh, we're actually 10 thousandths right out the box, which sounds like, oh, it's a good, better, tighter spec, but piston rings don't really wear on the gap, okay? They just don't. So it's like, uh, I'm not sure exactly how to deal with that situation. What I'm gonna do, in short, is file these to about 16 thousandths, which I actually got with this one, that's already in there, um, by filing the gap. Now, if you watch a lot of other, uh, videos or whatever like Moss TV, they'll tell you to get a fine file, set it in a vise, and then grab your piston ring and pinch it on there and go up and down so that way you can shave a few thousands off. Um, in my experience, just uh, with this right now, I've seen that taking your file, keeping it flat, and being sure that your uh, face of your piston ring on the side there is flat as well you can actually take off a couple of thousands like that. I got it up to um, 16 thousandths with maybe 15, oh, well, about 25 passes on the, the whatchamacall, on my uh, file with just probably the width of my thumbnail as the area that I was working, okay? Like very small movements, not getting all crazy with it. And it, it essentially just took off that black coating. Once that black coating got off of the inside of this, uh, this piston ring right there, the, that inside corner that I was actually filing, it went right up to 16 thousandths. So if I were to do the other side, assuming that this is 10 thousandths uh, out of the box again, this would actually put it all the way up to uh, 22 thousandths, which is closer to what the factory, whatchamacallit, was. But the Haynes manual specifies that it's only supposed to be 20 thousandths. So I'm going to put my faith in Haynes, which I really don't like doing and put these at about 16 thousandths. It's a good mid-ground. It's enough to keep it from uh, thermal expansion from making the pistons bind and crack and break. So hopefully these pistons won't do that. I'm guessing that these pistons uh, don't expand as much as the factory pistons and that's why the, uh, the tolerances are different. So that, that's why they're actually able to you know, give you a, a better uh, a smaller tolerance because they, they're not going to expand. That sounds like, oh yeah, they must be better. No, actually, iron expands and steel expands less than iron. <laughs> Wait, iron expands less than steel, steel expands less than aluminum, and aluminum expands less than forged aluminum. So if these were expanding a lot, that means that these were real high quality pistons, bottom line, okay? Um, They've stood up to the test of time so far uh, without any breaking or damaging or whatever. So, I mean, it's kind of like, I kind of feel like throwing these back in there, but I mean, I spent the money. I'm putting that shit in there. <laughs> anyway, we're going to file this off and show you guys exactly how I'm going to do it. I'm pretty sure this is going to be at 10,000s too. Uh, so, 
we're just going to take it and file like this. Hear that? Stop and take a look at it. I can still see. Sorry, I have to take a look at it myself first. I can still see the black stuff on there. And you want to try to keep it as flat as possible, so that way you're filing evenly. You don't get any adverse BS later on. And right now, I'm just seeing a lot of the black stuff come off, and that's it. So. Get that front end a little bit. And there we go. So that's filed right now. The shape is a little bit different, but it really just has the black stuff off of there. Now, once you do this, you want to kind of run your finger over it. Make sure there's no extra sharp edges. Compare it to the other side. The other side's kind of just as sharp, actually, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. But if you look, that's kind of shiny. And that's still black because that has that coating on it. So we're gonna leave it just like that. That one's done, as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna measure it, if it comes up to 16 thousandths, then that's it. We're gonna install these uh, piston rings, all with that uh, setting, that uh, little bit shaved off, and then get ready to install our pistons. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe. There will be a part two, three, four, X, Y, Z, whatever. Come back, there'll be more, lots more.